Good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us for a discussion on hidden curricula in schools. As was mentioned, my name is Toby Steves, and I'm a secondary teacher in Vancouver and an education policy analyst. And I'm particularly interested in digging into the values that lurk within education policies and curricula. And this interest informs my discussion tonight, where I'd like to highlight what hidden curricula is, where it can be found, why it matters, and what can be done about it. To begin, it's important to realize that hidden curricula are unwritten and informal. Although there are lessons conveyed through hidden curricula, there is a general lack of conscious planning with regard to the intended outcomes. This means that you will never find hidden curricula explicitly written on a plaque on a wall or in an informational pamphlet from a school. Nevertheless, hidden curricula are always there, operating as a mechanism for socialization. Socialization is the process by which we encourage or discourage particular actions and values through the use of incentives and disincentives. For instance, we can encourage actions that build cooperation and equity, or we can encourage actions that build competition and self-interestedness. Of course, there are many other flavors of socialization, and there are many other vehicles for achieving socialization. Hidden curricula is only one. Nevertheless, although hidden curricula cannot be limited to schools, within schools, its primary effect is to create and maintain certain forms of order. That is, schools create a context in which they have authority over aspects of the lives of students. For instance, authority over students' work, their time, and their achievements. In each of these domains, Hidden curricula operates as a means for internalizing or normalizing particular values and behavior. As a case in point, I would suggest that hidden curricula in schools begins by normalizing a deference to authority. Hidden curricula in schools can be found in a variety of points or places, and the sum effect of them is to guide or structure the desires of students. Time constraints demand that I only highlight a few of these points tonight, so I attempted to narrow my discussion with an eye towards the concerns of parents. The first of these points that I'd like to highlight is school and classroom rules. To sketch an example, a school could have a policy that bans the wearing of hats within the school. And on the surface, this rule can be understood as an attempt to encourage civilized behavior. However, beneath this, there is also a lesson being taught in deference to authority. Students learn that schools have power over their bodies. Another place where hidden curricula can be found is in the ceremonies and rituals of schools. A wide array of rituals can be found in schools, everything from raising your hand before speaking to carrying a hockey stick as a hall pass. The combined effect is that students are trained in obedience and docility. A third place where hidden curricula can be found in schools is in routines. Here, it's worth comparing the bells and schedules that more or less arbitrarily break up a school day with the bells and schedules that more or less arbitrarily break up a work day. In other words, the routines in schools can convey a hidden curricula that prepares students for the world of work. Another place where hidden curricula can be found is in the assessment practices of schools. Often misunderstood as more or less objective measures of students' performance, assessments primarily function as a means of sorting and ranking students. In other words, assessments often convey, not always, a hidden curricula that normalizes students within systems of subordination and hierarchy. Although I have only described a few of the places where hidden curricula can be found in schools, at this point it's possible to illustrate why it matters by drawing a line to connect them, to identify some of the main themes or lessons that are commonly taught by hidden curricula in schools. The most consistent lesson taught by hidden curricula in schools is subordination and hierarchy. As was illustrated in my example of a ban on hats in schools, hidden curricula teaches students that schools have power over their bodies. Similarly, hidden curricula in schools teaches students that schools have authority over the work students do, as well as the power to determine how students spend their time. 
A second lesson of hidden curricula in schools is that the lives of students are most appropriately focused on a single goal, preparation for the world of work. This can be demonstrated by considering the relative speed with which young children dissociate schools as places of and for play and reimagine them as places for work. Admittedly, preparing students for the world of work is an important responsibility of schools. However, it's less apparent that the basis for public schooling lies in preparation for the world of work and not in preparation for a world of life. Having limited my discussion to hi hidden curricula in schools, I identified what hidden curricula is, where it can be found, and why it matters. And I will now offer some actionable suggestions that parents and caregivers can take to challenge and subvert the influence of hidden curricula in schools. The first step in uncovering hidden curricula is to question. Ask, how are order and authority, subordination and hierarchy being taught? What are the unexpressed values guiding students' work? From here, it's vital that we take steps to get informed about what occurs in schools. Network with others who have an informed awareness of schooling. Attend PAC meetings and parent-teacher nights, just like this. And investigate how schools create and maintain authority over the lives of students. After questioning and studying, your advocacy will have more substance and a greater potential for impact. This accomplished, you might collaborate with classroom teachers and administrators to expose and, if needed, reimagine aspects of the hidden curricula used in schools. Encourage school programs that prepare students for life beyond work. But, above all, I hope your developing awareness of hidden curricula will inspire you to organize. Create a study group. Encourage your PAC to launch an ad hoc committee to investigate the hidden curricula being taught in your schools. Share your awareness of hidden curricula with others. In taking these actions, we make it easier to guide students in conscious ways with an eye towards preparing them for life and yes, for a bit of work too. Thank you very much. That concludes my presentation.